you're going to give an account for. Yes. One of these days. Well, if I don't listen to the pastor, if I don't look at him while he's preaching, it means that he's not talking to me. I want you to know today these words. Well, if I don't listen, it, it's, it, I, I'm not going to have to follow it. Yes, you are. You see, because this word that is sent forth, it will not be returned void. This word that is going forth, one day, and that's why as the pastor of this church, and that's why as, as the beacon of light in this community, I pray every day, God, get a hold of us and let us remember that we have to remember You and keep Your commandments because it is our duty. The Scripture said it is our whole duty. Amen. This Word of God, right. there is nothing else in this life that is as important as the Word of God. Amen. Nothing. Amen. It is your whole duty and your whole responsibility to follow and obey the Word of God. Yes, it is. No. Well, when I get older, I'll do it. No. I, when I get older... I, I, I'll follow the path of the Lord. Right now, I'm young and I've got some things and some choices that I want. I want to go out and have fun. I, I, I want to. I want to do my own thing. If you don't remember your Creator now, you may not have that opportunity, and you'll be so bound by the things of this world that there may not be any hope. For you. Amen. I want you to listen to me for just a moment. The things, and I made the statement, I think it was in our Sunday school class a couple of weeks ago. There are many things in this world and, and, and things that the, the Bible identifies as sins. They are addictive. Mm -hmm. Immoral relationships are addictive. Mm -hmm. Sex and pornography are addictive. The abuse of alcohol and tobacco are addictive. Yes, they are. Hey. Losing control is addictive. Yes. Power is addictive. Yes. And people say, you know, I, I wish that I could become addicted to God the way that, that people are addicted to the things of this world. Yeah. Yes. No, you can't. Oh. You see, addictions are assigned to sins. And they have chains that bind you to those addictions and those sins. You see, God sets us free. God give us a choice and He wants you to make a choice. If He addicted you to Him, then you would not be doing it because of your own free choice. You would not be serving Him because you choose to. It's because you are addicted to Him. Now you can fall in love with the Lord and the things of the Lord and it draws you closer to Him. But every day that you live, you have to get up and make a choice to live for God. You see, you, I, 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 you have to get up and make yourself sometimes come in here and praise the Lord. I don't always feel like dancing. I don't always feel like running the aisles. A lot of times I have to make myself do it. You know, I don't always feel like opening up the Word of God. You see, God wants me to make the choice to where I say, hey, this is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. So I, got, I want to make a choice every day to love Jesus. And not because I'm addicted to it. You see, God's not going to bind us to something. It has to be our choice. For, every, for God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. And you think as you bow your heads and close your eyes today. A lot of times we think, well, if I advertise this out here on Facebook or Instagram, or Twitter, and I put my sins out there, everybody knows what I'm doing, I'm not going to have to give an answer for it. 
Well, you see, you can tell the world what you're doing. You can let everybody know what you're doing. And it may be wrong. And it may relieve you. Everybody knows what I'm doing. But there's still going to come a day when all of those works, whether they were good or evil, they're going to be judged by the Lord. And they're going to be brought to light. But I'm not hiding anything. I let everybody know what I'm doing. Well, that's all right. You don't have to answer to me. And really, you don't have to answer to mom and dad. You don't have to answer to your husband or your wife. And really, members, you don't have to answer to the pastor or the deacons of this church. But you will. You will have to answer to God. I want to tell you, today is the day of salvation. And today is the day that you need to remember your Creator. And if you'll remember Him now, if you'll remember Him right now, Lord, I'm giving you my heart, I'm giving you my soul, I'm giving you my mind, I'm giving you everything that I've got, Lord. I'll make you number one. If you'll do that today, you're not going to have to worry about what was done in secret. You're not going to have to worry about what was done that was wrong because it's under the blood. We can leave our sins behind and never practice them again. We can leave the addictions of this world behind and never be involved in them again. If you're here today and there's something that has a hold of your life and you want set free from it, I want to invite you to come down here to this altar. Say, Lord, I can't break this myself. I need you, Lord. I need your help. If you're here today and you've been living for yourself, I want you to come down here. I want you to give, Lord, I give you my heart. I'm tired of living for me. I want to live for you. Mamas and daddies, you've been raising your children for them. You've been doing the things that you're doing for yourself. You need to start doing them for the Lord. You're never going to have the joy. You're never going to have the peace. You're never going to have the freedom that you need until you start living for God. And let go. If you're here today, you don't have the strength and the energy to go on. I want you to come down here. Say, Lord, I pour myself into so much of this world and so many of this world that I need to start pouring myself into you.